You playing tomorrow? Uh, I am actually. I'm actually gonna be um, playing right field for a Judge. Judge is out. Um, since Judge is out, I'm gonna. They asked me to come in. You know, I I pay. I actually came up Triple uh, A and qualified, so I'm gonna be hitting and playing right field for a Judge. Yeah, that's right. Hey guys, welcome to another remodel. We are in another remodel. Keep watching, keep watching. Welcome back to another video, guys. This is your host, Junior Garcia. Don't forget to like, to subscribe, turn on the campanita, and today we're in Harrison, New Jersey on our interior renovation. It's been working out for us because it's been raining for about a week and a half. So we're, we have the privilege to finish the interior job. Hit this link right here so you can look at the previous videos of this attic renovation before when it was a skeleton. So let me take you along. So guys, this house has a separate entrance and we're going through the back. For this attic renovation, we needed to add more ventilation, right? We're gonna have all the ductwork up there and the HVAC. So if you look up to the gable, we added that gable ventilation in the front of the house and in the rear of the house. We also added an attic fan as well. Let me show you. This is actually the second floor flowing into the third floor. I had to open that area up. And then here we're gonna add a 20 minute fire rated door. So if there's anything that happens, it will be contained down there but this flow will be from the second floor to the third floor. So if you guys remember this before, all of this was, you know, framed out and we ran the electrical. Now we have insulation, we have drywall, we have trim. These are closet doors, right? So these are closet doors that are gonna go into this area. There's about five openings. One, two, three, four, and then one in the other room, and we're gonna put closet doors there. In this room right here, there's gonna be a glass door. We special ordered it, so the natural light that comes from, from the outside will flow through here, and we'll have more natural light, right? Also, this is gonna be a glass as well here. So the floors are done. These are laminate floors. We've been just painting all these little closet doors right here and we're gonna mount them up and they're gonna be sliders, right to left, and this is basically the hardware it goes on the track. And they're gonna be mounted on the door and then on top of the track. So basically, all the drywall is done, all the molding is done. So we have a sitting area, which is this. This is another room where it's basically a reading room. This is the sitting area where also they're gonna have a little small TV the other room is basically going to be like a, a music room, right? This is the bathroom. This is the full bath. So we was able to uh, create a full bath in here. Everything on the floor is Hardy Backer. Subway tiles, all brand new plumbing. And then we have a, you know, a shampoo nook. And then we have an extractor fan as well, right? So basically we pass all the inspections. We're tiling up. Um, what are the challenges? The challenges was that we were gonna just do this area in subway tiles. The client says, you know something, Junior? I prefer all the tiles around. So we cut back the space right here and opened everything up and installed the subway tiles. So the second thing that we're gonna do on Monday morning is we're gonna just start grouting and then continue the tiles on the floor. So this is gonna be the tiles that we're gonna be installing on the floor. They're octagon style tile and it's gonna be installed here. Let me take you to the other room. Everybody likes the finish part. Remember that this door is gonna have a glass door as well. And then this is the other closet door that we're gonna finish. So we're basically gonna have the like, No light here. No, not yet. All, all the hi-hats haven't been installed. The wire is actually there, but now we're gonna update this. This is actually a sub panel because the main panel is downstairs in the basement. And that's a sub panel. The electrician is just gonna take care of that and then uh, finish that off. Sub panel is for just a different room and you're taking actual power from the main 
and bring it into a different area. Uh, generally in addition, we'll have a sub panel. In this case, this is our addition, the attic space, right? Uh, because we're running power for the HVAC unit that is in the attic. Uh, and then all these outlets. There you have it, guys. The next time you see this video, everything is gonna be fully done. Everything is gonna be fully clean. And then we're gonna do just a full walk around. These are for one, for the DIYers that says, you know, Sam, maybe I can do this. I can probably do this project. You can. It may take you three, it may take you four months to do it, but you can do it. Or for the people that are saying, you know something, I'm thinking about getting this done because I have a livable space and it's, it's not finished and I can use it, right? So this is how it may come out. The configuration may be different, but the idea is still the same. So before I forget guys, you may kind of notice that the floor slopes down and you see the difference between here and here. That's the actual floor and this is how it slopes down because the inspector didn't want to create a trip hazard when you walk up. Generally, every step is 7-11, right? So in raising up the floor, this would cause a trip hazard and you would fall. So he wanted all this to kind of flow together. If you are wondering why is there not a railing system here, there's gonna be a railing system, but since we're gonna bring up furniture, we're gonna bring the furniture up here and then add the railing system. So guys, I, I wanna take a second, right, to kind of share, if you're the homeowner and you're gonna take on this project, I am very grateful that the homeowner here has some type of knowledge of construction and is very, very understanding, even with the changes that has been made and some items that were not in stock. And they have a lot of understanding where our timeline was, uh, let's say June 30th, and we're still gonna make that timeline, but he's fully understanding because certain items were not here and available that, you know something, we'll, we can push the timeline down, right? I say that because in the future, if you're gonna, you know, you're gonna hire a contractor, have some compassion, some understanding when you decide to make changes to your own project. Keep watching. Batting third. Ha 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 ha